Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel Living in Florida. My name is Jose Reyes, your real estate advisor here in the beautiful Sunshine State. And today I'm located in the beautiful city of Deltona, Florida, taking a look at a few properties that are located here within this community that's much like the community of Marion Oaks out there within the city of Ocala, Florida, in the sense that they build homes on spot lots with no HOA and no CDD. Now, the, the big difference between Ocala and this one, it's that you're a lot closer to the big city of Orlando, about 45 minutes away from the Orlando area. You're about an hour and 15 minutes away from the Disney theme parks. And you're very close to the beach from here. You're about 36 minutes from New Smyrna and about 30 minutes since some change from Daytona Beach from this area. Shopping wise, as far as grocery goes, you're about 11 minutes away from a local Publix and about a 15 minute or 16 minute drive to the nearest Walmart where you can get your groceries on either of those stores. But uh, today we're gonna take a look at this beautiful home that I have here right behind me. This is a very beautiful home. I already snuck in and took a quick peek at this home before I showcased it to you guys to make sure it's a great opportunity for you and your family and that it is. Great finishes on this one, guys. This home is featuring 1,656 square feet, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, tons of luxurious finishes within this one, which I think you guys are gonna enjoy. So you definitely wanna stick around and take a look at this one, guys. But uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get this one started. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get this one started for you. Now, let's take a look at this driveway here, very similar to the bills in Ocala. This is a very, very long driveway for this property. You could definitely fit six to maybe eight vehicles in this driveway, depending on the size and make of those vehicles. Great, great feature for this one, something that a lot of folks enjoy with the homes in these kind of spot lot builds. Now, great. Uh, exterior on this one. I like the elevation that they chose for this one. Uh, you have kind of like a two-tone color here in the front. You have the white kind of matched with this nice little earth tone color underneath behind those plants. You're going to have this nice kind of like covered entryway that's going to protect you from, you know, any rain if you get home and then you just walk in through your front door, you're not going to get wet. But uh, great windows on the front. That's going to be a room that we're going to see in a minute. And that's going to be the window face that faces out from the dining room, which we'll take a look. Nice coach lights in the front, kind of give you some light at night when you get into this home. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this one. I like the curb appeal that they put in here for you guys. You can always kind of put other plants in this area if you're the type of person that likes to do some gardening i think that's a nice choice or you can always kind of get this uh, paver to maybe put some some seating areas here but that's up to you let's come in here have a nice little front door here uh, with kind of like a glass uh, feature here it's going to let some natural light in there uh, i think that's kind of a nice detail for this one you have an electronic keypad so if you forget your keys you can program a nice passcode so you can get into your home without any problems. But uh, let's come in this one. This one is currently listed at $375,000. It re recently underwent a price improvement. So they dropped $15,000 from this home. It was originally listed at 390, uh, so now it's 375. But coming into this home, what you're gonna notice is you have LVP flooring throughout the entire home. So no carpet at all within this one, which is something that a lot of folks are wanting these days. They wanna stay away from the carpet, whether you have pets, whether you have allergies, kids with allergies, you name it. A lot of folks want a home without carpet and they did not uh, disappoint with this one. Now, open space concept, very functional, this space here. 
Um, you have your kitchen over here. This will probably be a family room area. And then this is your dining room. That's that double wide window, which is double pane glass throughout the entire home that faces the front of the home. Have that nice dining room area. But let's take a look at this area a little more in detail in just a minute. Let's start with the rooms. Uh, again, we said this is four bedrooms, two baths. You have a, a bedroom right here. Just when you come into the entrance, you hang in this way. This can be used as a den or a bedroom or, uh, or a flex space, whichever one that you prefer. Now, ceilings are gonna be nine feet, four inches on this home. And I think it that really opens up these spaces. This room is a little smaller than the other rooms that they have throughout the, uh, the rest of the house, but uh, it can definitely be used as an office space if you work remotely or just another bedroom, right? Window face at the front of the home, gonna let a lot of natural light in here as you can see. You have a standard closet right here. Let's take a look at what we have here. So they recently had staged this house, so you're gonna have a little bit of decor here, but that's fine, it's not bothering us. Standard closet with the standard uh, kind of shelf or rack up there for you to hang all your items and some more space down below for more items for this room. Let's move on from this space, guys. We're gonna take a look at uh, the rest of the rooms here. Just a little further down this way, split room concept, right? So the primary bedrooms over there, guest bedrooms will be over here. So coming in this way, you have a bedroom over here, one over here, and then you have this bathroom, which we'll take a look at in a minute. But let's come into this room. So this one's definitely a little bigger than the one that we just saw at the front of the house. Um, definitely could fit at least a queen size bed in these bedrooms. Now, these come equipped with the light, that could easily be changed for a fan if you need one. Well, we are in Florida, so you're probably gonna to wanna to put a fan up there, but at least you have some pre-wiring, which is not gonna be a problem. Now, this one does have a closet as well. Let's see what this one has to offer. This is gonna be the same size as the one that we saw in the room on the other end of the home in the front of the house. So again, standard rack up there. You can see where you hang your clothes and some more items down below. Now let's close this door so we don't hit it on the way out. Let's come to this uh, guest bathroom here. So you have your standard single sink vanity here with a granite countertop and plenty of space down below. You know, you can get some space down here to store some more items underneath there, which is great. Soft closing cabinets all throughout the entire home, which is which something that a lot of folks enjoy these days. A uh, combination shower and tub here. You have nice tile work here, only three quarters of the way up. But hey, you know, it does, they did a nice job with this one. So it, that, that is definitely a nice feature for this bathroom. They already have a nice towel hanger that some builders are uh, omitting these days. I'm not sure why. And you have your standard toilet. But let's move on over here. This is gonna be another uh, bedroom. This is bedroom uh, number four, since the primary bedroom is the bedroom number one. But uh, this will be more or less the same size as the room that we saw across the way. So definitely can fit a queen size bed within this one. Also, window facing the back of the house, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes here. But uh, let's take a look at this closet and see what that has to offer for us. Come in here, standard closet. Once again, you have plenty of space to hang all your items up top here and a lot of space down below for more items for this bedroom. But uh, let's go back to this common area and take a look at another angle. So this is the hall. We're standing in the hallway here for those guest bedrooms and that bathroom. Um, you have access to the covered lanai, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But this would be kind of like your family space. You have the cable jack over here. So I'm assuming they want you to put your TV up here, but you can always get a cable guy to put that jack somewhere else. If you're wanting to put that maybe on this wall, Make that kind of like your family space if you don't like your dining room at the entrance of your home. And you can always put kind of like a dining space over here, which I think would be a great option for folks who prefer not to have the dining room right in front of the front door access. Um, let's take a look at another angle this way at this beautiful kitchen, guys. I think this is a very spacious kitchen, great kitchen island on this one. Granite countertop, same granite that we saw in the bathroom. Um, very, very spacious. They integrated the sink on this one, but they still give you plenty of room over here for all your foods and meal prep and whatnot. You can load this up with at least four to five 
uh, stools, uh, depending on the style and size of the stools, right? So you can have your guests sit here or your kids, if you have kids, sit here, have a quick bite to eat, or uh, you have a quick, uh, nice cup of coffee or anything like that before heading out. Now, they gave you kind of like this little nook area right here where you can put maybe like a little breakfast table or maybe put like a nice little coffee station on this area, which I think you have great possibilities for the space. So nice little wide area, plenty of space from here to that uh, wall back there to do something with this. Nice window facing the back of the home, giving you some natural light in here also. You are gonna have a pantry in this one. So you have four shelves. You can always have room to kind of redo this if you uh, need some more space, but uh, plenty of space to put your goodies for this kitchen and that space there. Now, you do have some shaker cabinets up here. These look like they're gonna be 32 inches, so a little on the, on the smaller size on top, but hey, you have plenty of storage up here. You got storage all throughout the top here too. These are gonna be soft clothes also. Plenty of drawer space on either side of this uh, uh, stove top and oven that you get here. Those are also soft clothes. More cabinets down below. Cabinets over here underneath the sink, which is gonna be a nice farmhouse style sink with no division here, which is something that a lot of folks are wanting these days. Just gives you a little more uh, space to do all those pots and pans here without having to you know, fight with that uh, little divider that you get in most homes these days. Now, nice little pendant lights up here. Give this a nice little accent look to this uh, area here. Gonna give you some more light here over this kitchen island, which is great. Uh, you have your Whirlpool appliances, stainless steel appliances for so the microwave, stove top, dishwasher right over here. And we already saw kind of like this side-by-side -side, uh, Whirlpool refrigerator here. Awesome, awesome feature, great kitchen for this. Uh, if you'd like to cook, you're definitely gonna enjoy this kitchen. Now, moving forward over this way, let's take a look at uh, the garage area in the laundry, and then we'll go out to the backyard. We haven't forgotten. But let's come in this way. So you won't get a washer and dryer with this one, but at least you have your connection here. They didn't put a shelf or a rack here, which is something that I probably would have preferred that they did, but it gives you the option to kind of put some shelves up here yourself based on what your needs are, or maybe put some cabinets up here to kind of keep your things tucked away behind doors for this larger space. Air handler is gonna be right in here, which I believe is a Goodman AC handler, which I saw on the outside. But uh, this is gonna be your two car garage. Plenty of space in this one. High ceilings for this garage, which is great. So if you need to put some, uh, install some overhead storage in here, you have plenty of space to do so. You can definitely fit two compact vehicles in this one. I don't think you could fit my truck in this one, unfortunately, guys. But uh, at least you had that long driveway in the front of the home that we saw at the beginning of the video. So you can put a lot of vehicles out there, maybe kind of use this as a DIY space. You have outlets up here, outlets over there. So if you want to put a workbench over there, you have plenty of uh, electrical outlets to hook up your workstation. Now, water heaters over there on the side of the home. They give you a LiftMaster automatic garage door opener, which this one is the kind that has that nice QR code uh, that you can download the app MyQ, and you can uh, control this with the use of your smartphone, which is amazing. So let's go back into this home. Let's go across the ways. Let's take a look at this backyard here that we forgot to show you. Nah, we didn't forget, but uh, we just went out of order here. But uh, coming in, or coming out, I should say, onto this space, you have the covered lanai or covered patio. Plenty of space here. You can put several chairs here, have a space for a barbecue. You can always close this out to kind of keep you safe from any mosquitoes or anything from out here. You have all this vegetation back here, which seems like a conservation area. So I think that's pretty cool kind of gives you some privacy in the back. You have some neighbors over here. You have some neighbors on the other side over there, but uh, you still have all this wooded area that's gonna be giving you some privacy. Now, it looks like property line is gonna be that little pink flag right over there. Um, this house is on septic, so this little mound here is gonna be where that septic tank is probably installed 
on the side of the home. You have all this space out there, but you have plenty of space on this end over here to kind of install, put it in the pool if you need a pool or build this out the way you want to build it out. Add to this home, whatever you like, infinite possibilities on this one. No HOA, no CDD. I think you can uh, do whatever you want on here as long as you have the prom proper permitting. But uh, what do you think of this one, guys? I think this is a pretty cool home. Uh, great location here if you want to go to the beach. You have easy access to New Smyrna and Daytona Beach at only about 35 minute drive to either of those uh, those uh, beaches, depending on the route that you take, right? Uh, very close to shopping centers from here, very close to the city of Orlando where I'm from. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know down below what you think of this house so far, but we're not done. Let's go back inside. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that master bedroom has to offer. So let's get going. Let's come back into this home. Nice, smooth uh, sliding door here, which is great. Now, let's come back over this way we are missing the tour of this mat or this primary bedroom which is right in here uh, nice double wine double pane window facing the back of the home giving us a lot of natural light within this this room high ceilings again it's going to give you uh, a more spacious look for this room it's already a little little very spacious you have that light again up here that you can switch out for a fan if you need to do so, which I always recommend because we are in Florida, but you can definitely fit a nice king size bed in this one. They have that uh, cable jack over here. So if you're a person that likes to put a TV in your primary bedroom, you have this nice big wall in order to put a big TV in here um, if you like to do that. And then I guess you would put your bed facing uh, well, the bedboard, the, the headboard on the wall and the bed coming over this way. Primary bathroom right over here. You have a double sink vanity. Hi guys. Double sink vanity on this one uh, with this granite countertop. Also, you have plenty of space down below for some storage. No medicine cabinet on this one and no drawers in the middle of this one. Let me know what you think about that. But uh, you have plenty of space here if you want to install like a medicine cabinet. Uh, you can do so on this wall. Now, huge walk-in closet for this one, guys. I think you can appreciate that at least. Uh, they give you two shelves or racks, one here, one there. But uh, I would personally kind of put some more shelving in here to use this more appropriately. And you have this wall here that's bare, so you can kind of put maybe like a nice little shelf system here to put more items here to use the space more efficiently because you have plenty of space in this closet for both spouses. Now, you have toilet right over here. So not a closeted water room, but that's okay. I mean, let me know what your opinion is. And a lot of folks, a lot of folks are wanting at least a water closet with these new builds, but this one did not give you that unless you want to kind of close this off right here, but you have access to this walk-in shower in the back of this bathroom. Nice tile work, this is kind of like uh, porcelain style tile to kind of give you kind of like offset color with this tile over here and then you got again the same white porcelain tile you have across the ways over here and then you have this hexagon tile down below to kind of you have a lot of different uh, textures going on here but uh, nonetheless it is a nice shower but uh, that's going to do it for the tour of this beautiful new construction home here within the Deltona area, guys. Let me know down below what you think about this property, but uh, let's do a quick recap of what we just saw before we get out of here, and then we'll talk about what it takes to buy this home, and then we'll go ahead and end this tour.
All right, so that's going to do it for the tour of this beautiful new construction home located out here in the beautiful city of Deltona, Florida. I think you guys can agree that this has a ton of great finishes within this beautiful home. Let me know down below what you thought of this home. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed showing you this beautiful property. Now, we're almost out of here, guys. Before we get out of here, I definitely want to talk about what it takes to, uh, to buy this home as far as down payments goes. If you're financing, if you're purchasing cash, cash is always king. So you can always close on a home in 14 days as long as you can uh, show proof of funds for properties just like this one. But if you're financing, you have several options. You have the FHA loan, you have the conventional, right? Uh, if you're a veteran, uh, thank you for your service, right, first and foremost. But you have the option of getting approved through the VA where you don't need a down payment for this one. But and we can always negotiate those closing costs. But if we go the FHA route, let me take a look at my notes, right? Um, so I don't have to do this off the top of my head. Uh, putting down a 3.5% for this home. If you're financing with the FHA, you're looking at a down payment of $13,125 for this one so not too bad for a down payment for a property like this one here within the deltona area let's say you want to go conventional you have a few options when it comes to that right uh, you can put down a five percent which if you do put a five percent down for a conventional loan for this one you're looking at a down payment of eighteen thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars for this beautiful property uh, how am i getting these numbers well we're multiplying uh, the total purchase price, in this case, we're using the listed, listing price at 375000 multiplying it by those percentages, right? But uh, if, let's say you want to do the conventional route, uh, going a 20%. Uh, 20% is going to eliminate that, uh, private mor that mortgage insurance. So it's going to save you a few hundred dollars a month, which that uh, mortgage insurance really isn't uh, working in your favor. That's uh, actually protecting the lender. So if you want to avoid that uh, uh, mortgage insurance, put down that 20%. And in this case, it'll be $75,000 for a property like this one, which again, is just multiplying the listing price, which is 375,000 by that 20% and you'll get that 75,000. Now, keep in mind, you always have to account for closing costs when it comes to purchasing a home. That's something that myself as your realtor will gladly uh, try to negotiate with the seller in order to get you guys some contribution towards those closing costs so you don't have to cover that entire uh, closing cost uh, fee. Uh, that varies, right, depending on the title company. It could be anywhere from three to 4% of the total purchase price. In this case, you're looking at a total closing cost of $15,000 if you're being charged that 4%. Now, uh, cash to close, what you would do is take that $15,000 and you add it to the down payment. So each individual one of those that we did for the FHA and the two for the conventional, you add that $15,000 to those totals and you'll get what the cash to close will be for each and every one of those options. But uh, we're done with this one, guys. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed that tour. Uh, if you have any more questions about this property, I'm going to go ahead and leave all the details for this property down below within the description area. I'm also going to leave my contact information down here below at the bottom of the screen. You're going to have my contact number there. You're also going to have my email there. So you can always email me or text me or just give me a call and I'd be happy to talk to you guys about what your goals are as far as relocation to any city here within the beautiful state of Florida. If you're having to sell a home, whether it's here in Florida, we'd be happy to help you guys uh, sell your home and help you relocate to your future uh, your future residence, right? Or if you're selling a home outside of state, unfortunately, I can't help you with that since I'm not licensed in your state, but I can always find a reputable real estate agent uh, to help you guys with that transaction. And then I take over from there and help you relocate here to any city in the beautiful state of Florida. I'm also gonna leave a QR code right here within this area. You can scan that with your smartphone. You can have all my information at the palm of your hands. You can always use that to contact me also. If you can't connect with me on your first try and you definitely want to get in touch with me urgently, I'm going to leave the contact info for my spouse and business partner right down below. Her name is Karen Vijegas. Together we work as the Reyes Family Real Estate Group. She'd be happy to assist you guys as well if you're looking to relocate to any city here within the beautiful state of Florida. Other than that, we're done with this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If so, let us know by hit that subscribe button. Give us a like and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I post a video on this channel. 
Other than that, guys, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next video of the next home tour.